so I was I was a very curious kid but uh, because of that I couldn't relate with other kids I uh, most of my pastime was to learn I have always loved learning and I could only, I felt like I could only learn from adults and so I remember there was a time nilikwana uh, one of my uncles alikona tumia earbud to do that thing <laughs> and then I was like ah usipeleke sana itaumiza ear drum yako and then he stopped and he was like mm, unajuaje ear drum ni nini <laughs> because by then I think I was in nursery and you're not expected to know what an ear drum is but then I knew because I spent most of my time learning and I loved I loved being around it Africa with a K not with a C <laughs> uh, government name so much my ID names Sharon Achieng Wini I am a musician and I like to think I'm a messenger of emotions and <laughs> yeah I'm a storyteller and a messenger of emotions because for me music is about communicating feelings and i try to do that to the best of my abilities i'm also very obsessed with my culture and just generally the african culture african traditions um just my africanness i i am very obsessed with my africanness no it's it's there's no interesting story <laughs> but it has evolved a lot um what was my first one i think my first one was shan s h a r n and then it evolved to shani the first because at some point i was watching <laughs> i was watching uh, a lot of disney and then there's sofia the first so <laughs> so at that time my sister was obsessed with sofia the first and that's all we were watching in that house so it became shani the first and then after some time now when i grew up <laughs> it sounded childish in a sense <laughs> so, 
<laughs> it sounded a bit childish. By then, I think I must have been in first year. By the time it was Shani the first, I was in first year. And then it became Sharia Africa, I think, when I was in fourth year or... Yeah. No, I think a little bit after, maybe 2019. I think it became Sharia Africa in 2019. I mean, music has been a part of me since childhood. My mom was in a, in a, in a choir, Walkona Jitake City. And they used to, to go around just singing within the country, sometimes outside of the country. Within the country, mostly Walkona Jitake. So, I okay, uh, bus station. No, see bus station, Apple GPO. When it was a bit different, the structure was a bit different. So they used to stand there and sing. Sometimes they'd sing Ukoivo High Court. So anywhere to get on out to skirts and trousers and then drew some fancy half coats and a white uh, long shirt. And that was nice. I still have photos I like to share on my WhatsApp. <laughs> and I used to tag along in most of them. And then back home, I grew up with my grandparents. So back home, my grandfather, every weekend, alikuwa ilikuwa weekend ya mziki. So the whole day, we'd listen to Okach Bigi, Dola Kabari, Rumba, Lingala, all this nice, nice music. <laughs> you know, not to brag, but <laughs> not to brag, but Sisi, uh, in our village, our house was the prettiest. And in our village, nisi peketu tulikuwa na nyumba ya mawe for a very long time. <laughs> and in our village as well, nisi si peketu tulikuwa na TV. And by that time, ilikuwa Great Wall. That, unakumuka? Great Wall. <laughs> yeah, tulikuwa na TV is a Great Wall. And once in a while, when someone from the village was meant to be on TV, let's say, doing an interview, Everyone new singer spread across the village and yo siku kila mtu angekuwa kwetu wadango cha kumuona. Yeah. Tulikuwa tunatumia sola. So for us music stima ilikuwa stima ilikuwa so music was being played every weekend. TV tulikuwa tunaona kila siku usiku sa news peke yake na sa the bold and the beautiful. <laughs> so I, I grew up with a lot, a lot of musical influences, Nikizi Skia all the time. And then when I went to primary, Nikaekwa uh, boarding at around class seven. So from there, Tulkonga to Naimba Church once in a while. And that's when I knew I enjoyed, I enjoyed singing. I didn't know I could sing well, but I knew I enjoyed it. And then I got to Form 1 and I am told by my classmates <laughs> that I used to sing all the time. Johnny Lkwa Piri and then Kwanaka Pombelia class. I went to Nia Girls High School in Siaya County. And uh, Nikiwa from one, Nilkwa Piri. <laughs> and then, uh, Pombele. Like Katikatia class, the front desk. And Mimi personally si kwana jua, but Classmates wangu wanasema ni kwa naimba all the time. Your time ndio P-square walikuwa wame hit in East Africa. And then brackets watu wa yori yori. So, <laughs> so nasikia ni kwa naimba yori yori all the time. Apombele all the time. And so my deskmate got a very, oh, shaz. My namesake as well. <laughs> Only coincidence. In fact, I alikuja end alikuwa the last person kukuja class yetu. So akai kwa tu apombele na mimi. Aku akuna mtu alikuwa natika kwa apombele. So when they realized kuna yo confusion, her second name is Bella. So kila mtu saka change from Sharon to Bella. And then mimi nkabaki Sharon. Although I too have a second name as well. But Jumini <laughs> Piri. Yeah. So um Sharon Bella kam wakunyandikisha kwa talent show tukiwa form one. Ilkwenitwa nya idols. So I didn't know. So the 
the day before she tells me by the way kesho kuna talent search na nilikuwa nimekuandikisha utaenda kuimba at first i was scared but i am always the one to take the challenge <laughs> i never back down from a challenge so i took it nika prepare kuna song nilikuwa napenda sana over the holidays inaitwa breathe slow uh, yes <laughs> So that's what I went and sang. And to my surprise I won. I became near idols. <laughs> the near idol. Nilishinda yani niliwin. Niliwin nikakuwa the near idol for that year. And it never happened again so I was the last near idol. <laughs> I'm still I'm still the last near idol unless someone else introduced it. Um so that's when it hit me oh okay I can do it and I can do it well and then I started writing gospel songs uh, <laughs> These days I I remember them but then I say maybe is intatumia kama lullaby for my children <laughs> when I eventually have them I had a lot of diaries. Kuna zingine zilikuwa personal, just mine, but in in some way in make when I look back at them, none of them was personal. <laughs> because because I realized so many people it had so many writers. Kuna wengine nakumbuka wengine hata nimesahau. Don't understand <laughs> how tulikuwa tunashare hizo diaries because I nikizifungua nafikiri anga oh my dad i will get to see the things i was thinking and then nikifika katikati naona other handwritings that are not mine <laughs> and some of them are messages for me and then some of them are just poems by other people some of them are people sharing their feelings with me not the bad kind just <laughs> people journaling in my book so nazisomanga niko niko very how, i think you know to share establish i'm a very sweet person <laughs> so i think um people were that comfortable in my space they felt they could share their thoughts within my space as well and i don't take that for granted <laughs> My mom aliniza mapema sana. Okay. Uh, Sijui kama tunaweza sema ni ma- na- <laughs> ninaifikiria na sema okay ni mapema maybe in in terms of people's opinion on when people should be giving birth. But um, I was conceived when she was 18. She tunaweza I alikuwa form 4. But if Ali Maliza Shule <laughs> and yeah but you know my grandmother says how she got married at 19 so wanna it's not that strange ukiangalia okay, in that sense <laughs> so yeah um in the current generation we can say my mom had me early and because of that akukwa na that stability and she also felt that hakuwa in the right state and right situation to be able to to give care to a child yeah and so i've been raised by a whole community nimeenda <laughs> from home to home so the first person that raised me was my grandmother's sister bless her soul uh, oh she's alive what unajua watu asembanga hivyo ni kama it's supposed to be for the dead only but yes bless her soul um she took me in i hear at about three months and she nursed me she raised me because by then my mom was in college so she raised me until uh, i think nursery and then pre uni and then pre unit yeah 
Nilizaliwa Kibra. <laughs> no, 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 no. Nilizaliwa Nairobi. Uh, my mom was in Pangani. Hi. Eh. <laughs> yeah, so by then they were living in Langata. So that's where I was born. And then tuka nikapele kwa kwa my chatunumche my grandma in Gidurai. And then after that I went to my aunts in Kariobangi. Uh, stayed there for maybe a year or two. No, around two, three years even. And then I went to Shags Sasa to stay in Nau. <laughs> By the time I was going to Shags, how old was I? Huh. That was in 2001. I can't remember how old I was. But yes, that was in 2001. So by then, Nilikwa class one. <laughs> by then, Nilikwa class one. Um, so yes. Uh, now, most part of my childhood is now based in Sega. That's why I relate more with it because that's where I've spent most of my life growing up. So as a kid, my mom and as a child, I was an introvert, but I was extroverted when it came to adults. I was with my grandma's sister in Gidurai, Nilienda, until Nasari, and then Nikaenda Kariobangi, Nikakauko pre-unit, na class one. Then Sandy Nikaenda Ushago. I was not to brag again <laughs> but because I didn't spend most of my time playing with other kids my mama and I said mommy I used to stay in the house read books and play on the computer so iyo ndo ilikuwa pastime yangu I have a, a younger sister I have a younger sister we're just two of us but yeah, I could later. I was an only child until form two. <laughs> yeah. So now they are called class six. I know. <laughs> I've been more of a mother to her than a sister. <laughs> yeah. Well, but it has it has created a very nice environment for for love between us we are very close in that sense so i was i was a very curious kid but uh, because of that i couldn't relate with other kids i uh, most of my pastime was to learn i have always loved learning and i could not i felt like i could only learn from adults and so I remember there was a time I uh, one of my uncles alikuwa natumia earbud to do that thing <laughs> and I was like ah usipeleke sana itaumiza ear drum yako and then he stopped and he was like mm, unajuaje ear drum ni nini <laughs> because by then I think I was in nursery and you're not expected to know what an ear drum is but then I knew because I spent most of my time learning, and I loved, I loved being. I loved being everyone's favorite. <laughs> I, I loved, I loved being known. By the way, I was as a grown up. Joe, when you're used to being loved all the time by everyone, it becomes difficult to understand when someone doesn't like you. When you go somewhere and someone has an issue with you, how get like AJ, I'm lovable. Na pinduanga. Nini nizi? So it doesn't register. Sometimes we have it's almost same as you know, for kids, you know, some kids like me, when you may grow up you've been smart your whole childhood. And adults like to praise that in you, like, oh, say, "Nimwerevu, unapendwa when nimwerevu, you're in paradise." <laughs> and then uh, you haven't had to study that hard to be smart because you just are. Alafu sa una get to things like uni, 
Allah, you, 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 you just can't win it. You have to learn it. <laughs> you, have to, you have to learn it. And then so it, it gets very hard in that sense. But anyway, but that just come by adulthood. My childhood was fire. My childhood was nice. Me, I was enjoying vibes. I was enjoying love. I was enjoying. I was enjoying life. I, if I was to, to relate it to something, it's like being in a in a garden full of sunflowers. And the sun is shining. <laughs> Most of my childhood was like that, up until class six. Then when I got to class six, uh, my favorite person died, and I just shattered. I had never, I never experienced loss in that sense. Well, Roy was like my twin brother, who is not really a twin brother, and I never, I never talk about Roy ever because I don't know, it was just too heavy for me. And when he went. He went with me. I didn't stay, and people didn't notice until I started failing, and it became weird because I never fail. <laughs> so when I started failing, they were like, "No." I went from number one to number four, then to number seven. And it was very consistent to number sixteen, and then when I hit seventies and eighties, they were like, "Eh, I'm tricky." But you know, before then, I had already been complaining. I wasn't feeling well. Every every evening, I'd start getting headaches. Every day, I had headaches every evening. That's because I was at a specific time. So my head would ache, and then I kissed him. I go for kasi. You know, it was during the period ya kususo maindi. So you know, yoni yoni communal effort. <laughs> and if every day your head is aching time ya kususoma hindi jioni you must be faking it and so it wasn't met with the kind of care it required because you know that, that is a foreign thing to us we are not supposed to be having mental issues it's, it's strange in that kind of setting so when Everything started deteriorating. I stopped talking. Remember, I was a very talkative child. I stopped talking. I I stopped being around people. I just wanted to be in my room. I I stopped studying. I stopped performing. I just I just became a shell really <laughs> of myself, and they couldn't get it. So when it became alarming. I was taken to Aga Khan to see a psychiatrist. No, at first I was going to a pediatrician. And then when they did all the tests they could, I wasn't sick physically. And so I don't know how he got me to tell him. <laughs> uh, and then he realized, ah, it's deeper issues. And so I, I was put on medication. And then I'd go see a psychiatrist weekly. Eventually, I got fine. I, I was able to pick myself up, but the damage was so deep. I never bounced back to who I was before. Yeah, and that was sad to see. I think it was very difficult for my grandfather because. That's like my best friend, you know. <laughs> yeah. And it was very difficult for him to witness that transition. When I graduated and he was making his speech, he was he, he told that story again. He was like, you know, there was this and this happened and she has never been the same. <laughs> and ever since I just ever since that time, I think my mental health became very vulnerable and as an adult I had to try and just work harder to stabilize that part of me and I still have to do it consistently till today. <laughs> in this point in time, first I don't know I can sing as a child. I, I know I enjoy music. My grandfather enjoys music and is playing it every weekend, but 
that's it musically. So I'm singing along to these people, like you know, catch biggies who I remember, Kina Musa Juma, and Kina, hey, my, my grandfather had a lot of cassettes, a lot. I stole some reason. <laughs> Akina <laughs> Franco, I lose my belle, coffee. Which 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 song? <laughs> yes, cool corner music festivals, especially when I was in primary. But si kwa nimba. Nilikuwa nafanya solo verses. <laughs> na choral verses na cultural dances so in fact it was it was more of a given that time ya music ikifika solo verses nilikuwa nasukumiwa hizo nzako shika chagwenye unataka and it went on until hata when i went to say a girls boarding still zilikuwa zinakuja solo verses nimependa english tangu primary until up to now, really. So, solo verses ni kwa nafanya, ni kwa na certificates. Mingi, mingi sana, hadi nationals. Hadi high school, venye nilifika still, I was like, no, high school ni kwa nilingia drama festival sasa. Si kwa ikanyaga music. I don't know, drama festival was cooler. Was <laughs> and all the cool people in the school, walkonga drama. So, if you want to belong, so it was cooler to belong to drama festival than music festival. Likwana dances. So dances in a story. So mna act out mki dance na mki yima pia at the same time. So there's someone doing the solo and then si swengine tuna si drive ni na itua but kwetu ni itua kuolo. So anyum na pia soloist nguvu. Yeah. I think the love that I could feel around me, that communal love, communal love, I think you have to be able to confidence, that reassurance from everyone around me. When you're feeling loved and you're just at peace and the world is full of sunflowers, how can you not be confident? But then when you're out here and you're suddenly seeing the world differently and you're seeing the gloominess, you're seeing the, sad, the sadness, you're seeing um, the insults and you're seeing when it stops feeling like love and it stops feeling like sunflowers. <laughs> think of something happy, it's just sunflowers. <laughs> sunflowers I think should be able to make everyone happy. Yeah? <laughs> so when when all this changes, you begin to you begin to lose your confidence. You begin to see things differently. When you start to feel unloved, when you start to feel alone, when you start to feel ridiculed, or you start when post, when you're exposed to just the negativities of the world, yeah. When someone tells you, oh, they point out something negative about you. It already starts eating at your confidence. Yeah? It's different from when all you're experiencing is just love. But then when you go to that other side, then you start to crumble. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so after Sega, ni naingia. Sega ni mekua until tuneza sema tuwadi the naingia campus. Tuneza sema evo. Um, so that means primary Sega, mm -hmm. high school pair within two, around Niaiko, but not to within the county. <laughs> no, Niasi, but not to county. It is still within the county. So in after Sega Township, um, the doctor advises they need to change my environment. So I'm taken to a boarding school. Just across the road. In Apelekwa, across the road, we can just take a girls' boarding. So first, I start off a day, and then Sasani came here class seven, and we came here boarding seven to eight. It was a bit different. I I was still gloomy. 
I was still feeling, I even, I think I was feeling even more alone in that sense. Uh, I, I don't think it's, Siko Shua Kamai idea. I felt, I continued to just feel alone. Because now I don't even have that community anymore. I'm now in a totally new place, new people, um, and I'm stuck with them. <laughs> and rules and regulations and it, it begins to feel a lot. But in some way, academically it helped. I was able to bounce back. I, I stopped being 80s <laughs> and went back to top 5. I became index 4. Academically, Sega Girls was better than in township because there are a host people from all over the country. So it was a bit more challenging in a sense. So academically it really helped me. Um, I hated it because it was a Catholic school and then the nuns were just Mm. <laughs> 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 Okay, those people are just killing us. Being a front runner, I'm lucky. I was <laughs> still a favorite yeah. and also a dome captain at that time. <laughs> so it was a bit easier yeah. than the average person. Mm, I didn't get to, to to wash the pits a lot because I was a prefect and I didn't get to carry their feces a lot as well. <laughs> Because prefect here has a point to supervise. Then after that, I what did I get? It was difficult trying to to be neutral at a point where the students are okay and the teachers are also okay. Because most times, if you kuna pata uki try kufanya sana kenyo elimu anataka. The students are starting to create an uprising, <laughs> and then for the sun, like your students on attack, the teachers are now uncomfortable. They're like, hmm, we'll bring someone else. So that was a struggle, and then I think I became too much of the people's people. So Nikachujo, when I go to the state. <laughs> apply you don't remember I know my criteria was don't go to a Catholic school so I didn't write a single <laughs> Catholic school <laughs> None. Uh, but uh, I was happy to go to here <clears throat> yeah, here was very good to me so I get to uh, form one front runner things Kama kawaida, piri, maradat, that. <laughs> I become the class prefect. And then Sisi to Lingia at a very weird time because by the time she got Lingia from one, uh, the principal, the, the, the principal was transitioning. I think she was retiring or going to, she was retiring. So Sisi to Lingia to Captain Prince, your time I shall retire, but the new one Bado Hacha Lingia. So I think a month after CC. And because of that, the administration peer was not prepared. So within the whole of time, one or two one uniforms to look at my home clothes. <laughs> <laughs> so even uh, to keep to my admission letter to Liam, you are to Kujena to look at home clothes. See uniforms are primo. Kuna what will Kujena uniforms are primo though? But me. I no, most of us look on our own clothes. You have a trauma. Yes. You have a trauma. Yes. I found a shabu recently and I found uniforms in Zambu as a township, but there's none as a girl. That's how scared I was. That's how scared I was. So uh, after, town, after primary, I go to high school in here. Uh, that was really nice. 
I win your know, idols within my my first my first term. Not my first term, yeah, my first term. And immediately you know, I become popular. Mini Piri me singer. Mini idol. Uh, I really enjoy it. Drew, Rajo first year or the first year form one. On a summer, <laughs> the minority get bullied yeah. and you're just at risk of so many things. And me I was lucky when you when you're young and famous yeah. <laughs> and a prefect at the same time, you're on top of the world. And being a prefect in high school Ilikuwa so many privileges. For example, I didn't know what a key was. I could just so watu wana, wana struggle kukimbia two minutes to bell time wakimbia of dining hall mapema wapange line to clear unamaliza hata unamaliza hata assignment na ngoja wamalize kujaza njia <laughs> <laughs> so <clears throat> in, until nikafika form 3 nikaacha upili it was stressful that whole dynamic and me stands you in for people please uh, because you want to maintain that you want to always be loved you know? because you, you enjoy how it feels it makes you happy and then if you in a position like that lazima utakosea mtu mmoja so either ukosee walimu ama ukosee students and it's a uh, it's an uncomfortable position just too tense for someone sweet <laughs> So I stop being a prefect when I get to form 3 and I focus more on studies, more or less lectures. So I get to form 3 and I decide to focus more on just studying and writing songs and I was in a I had a dance group as well when I was in form 1. But then in form 3, a lot of things for me changed. I joined CU. And then I become present worship leader. For me, in Jili, I'm going to meet and go to church. You know, I've 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 grown in Christ. Like you are to me, the church. Kita Sunday, me na onyuto at wa church. Mubani, Ramadango, church, church, church. You know, you only. Last me is if to zikwe instilled. If you are instilled early, yeah. then you grow with it. So for me, it was it was home. Yeah. Yeah. So I joined CU, present worship. What one of them? Because I was in a lead present worship. What one of them? And then the teachers start getting upset. Sijuin nini ilikona wa upset. They're like, people are not supposed to be this happy during present worship. Because I make them overdo. Apparently. So, Nambiwa, you are very good singer. But, Ustagwe is also says in a Changam Shower to sing. Well, as can you the boring songs on a keyboard apple from to a keyboard. Tananta Ilikua. So we would only get to do it on Sundays or time senior. Zenitonga. I joined present worship. Nina Changam Shasana or Limu on a tetra. And then towards the end, I used to spend a lot of my time in the library and I used to spend a lot of my time in the library Back in Sega, my grandfather every Sunday was our bonding, bonding time and we would bond over the newspaper So I used to spend a Sunday standard and Sunday nation and then I used to spend a lot of the fun parties for me that the serious political stuff is for him. I enjoyed doing that with my grandfather. And I think that was a big step for me, especially in knowing English. Uh, hey, grandfather, I'm going to end up with a boy, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I love telling people that. So now we have to up with the essays for WhatsApp, for WhatsApp group. That's how you know he's a very learned man. So we enjoyed, we enjoyed spending quality time together just reading. And when I went to high school, I still maintained that. In some way, I think it made me feel like I'm home. <laughs> so one time I'm reading the newspaper, and uh, there's this competition, it's a writing competition by NCIC. 
you know what NCIC is? 